We are here with Jim and Cheryl Hastings, the parents of Zoe Hastings. What would you like people to know about your daughter, Zoe? We'd just like her to know that she was um, interested in other people, that she wanted um, for everyone to be happy and feel comfortable in the place that they were at. And, you know, she was devoted to church service. Um, she just wanted she to, to spread the gospel. Yeah. When she, any opportunity she had at church, at school, like friends who would ask questions, she was always really eager to answer their questions and would take books of Mormon to the church and, I mean, to the school and um, share it with whoever wanted it. Um, like for her senior photos, I don't, she, um, they had a series of photos that they did and, um, they had pick a prop that they wanted to, that kind of spoke about them. And, you know, a lot of kids, cause it was a theater place would pick a hat or a, you know, ballet shoes or something. She picked her book of Mormon. And so she had pictures of her, you know, with her, holding her book of Mormon. That was kind of the, the symbol that she thought represented who she was. Yeah. She's wanted to serve a mission since she was like nine years old. And talked about it regularly and was so excited, like when the, the age was changed to 19 instead of 21 for It just fueled her fire. Yeah. What in her heart motivated her to want to go serve on a mission, even as a young girl? I, I don't want to take credit, but I do talk a lot about my mission. And, um, and because I'm an artist, I've done lots of pictures about my mission and I've talked to my kids about it throughout their lives, about different experiences that I had. Her but, uncle went on his mission, yeah. and grandpa went on his mission. And, and, yeah. She, you know, she's had lots of good examples of people who have served missions and had really good experiences. And um, she, I think she liked the way missionaries felt, you know, when they were around. She'd get real excited when we had, like, elders over to our house or sisters over to our house to have dinner or she just liked being around them. And I think that she could feel kind of that spirit that they had with them regularly. Tell us about Zoe's heart and what kind of girl she was. She was just happy. Yeah. As a good example of that is um, last week on uh, Friday, she put a note out on her mailbox and it, it was a questionnaire for our mailman and said, um, dear Mr. Mailman, I want to know about you. Um, what's your favorite drink? What's your favorite candy bar? What's your favorite? I don't remember. It was a couple other things. And she just wanted to like know things that she could give to him to kind of brighten his day when he stopped by to drop off her mail. And, um, that's, that's really how she treated everyone, including members of her family. She was just interested in people. Wanted to make them happy. Wanted to make them happy. Yeah. Yeah. What else would you like, if there's anything else, um, for people to know about Zoe? She wanted to go off after her mission and get an education. She wanted to be a doctor. She was real excited about going to medical school. She would go to the library and read uh, books about surgeries. She wanted to, she wanted to do surgery. She thought she wanted to do brain surgery or heart surgery. I don't know, but she would watch videos and like YouTube videos of surgeries, and she just was real interested in pursuing that next step after her mission was. Uh, you know, she really wanted to have a family too. I know she was looking forward to getting married and, um, you know, having her own little family. So. She had lots of ambitions. Yeah. She was a good big sister. She yes. really looked after her younger siblings. It wasn't like a chore to have these other little kids running around. I mean, she loved to do like paint her sister's nails and just spend time with them and do fun things with them. On Friday morning, they had, they had a fair day on Friday. And I know that they woke up and she made breakfast for all the kids and they were watching Halloween movies. All day. Uh, yeah. So that was something that, you know, they, I'm, I'm glad they had that last kind of moment with her to remember. Me too. Yeah. Thank you both. We appreciate it. 
Olive, I love you. Stop crying for mommy. Mm.